like an angel Talk like an angel Talk like an angel But I got wild You're the devil in the sky Oh, yes you are Devil in Disguise. Well, not anymore. Obama slick talking, long legged Mac Daddy in there getting the job done. A lot better than that little Mac Daddy George W. Bush. Even slicker than Mr. Pimp Game himself, Bill Clinton. You're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. Devil in disguise. Oh, yeah. Look, let's ram in a bunch more of your calls and big news blitz coming up and some calls at the end of the show. But what is Obama going to do? 41% approval rating. I mean, this looks bad, folks. Never, no president before him in the last hundred years of scientific polling has had below a 45 eight months in. I mean, he is going to really have to stage a crisis or something. And I think that's going to be the flu. What do you think? I mean, it's now come out. Washington Post, Associated Press, Governor Ridge, head of Homeland Security, said they were staging fake terror alerts for elections to get their approval ratings up. This is the name of the game. Fellow cabinet members pushed terror alerts. Washington Post, if you don't think Obama isn't going to stage some stuff, then you need to get your head checked, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and... Take another call here. Ryan in Washington State. You're on the air. Hey. Welcome. Hey, thank you, Alex. God bless you for what you do. You woke me up nine months ago. I just have a comment and a question. Uh, to everybody out there posting up the posters, do not pass down. I mean, these Obamazoids, yes, they're crazy. I mean, I've been spit on, ripped, the posters ripped down right in front of the face, you know, and be, or, be informed with the facts because I've, I've gotten into conversations with them. And I think I've opened up a couple of their minds. Yeah, I would um, neutralize them. I would say, I don't like Bush. I don't like Bush. I don't like Bush. And if you say that, they'll go, cannot compute, like Robbie the Robot. They go to YouTube, Robbie the Robot cannot compute with the smoke. Cannot compute. And the left, right paradigm. It's like, you know, the smoke comes out the ears. Try to explain to them. Uh, let me guess. That's what you've been doing. And, but, but some won't listen, will they? It's more like... Oh, they just no, run up, no, no, no. especially white yuppies, they run up with this crazy look going, you're a white supremacist! You know, you're not allowed to talk about our God! I'm sorry, go ahead. Exactly, exactly. And, and they don't even know what fascism is. And I said, you're, you're, uh, you're partaking in fascism right now by suppressing my criticism of the government. Because they don't want it. But anyways, uh, the question was, is Obama's approval ratings are going down, and, and I'm just wondering if, if they're just going to go straight into martial law and, and not stage, a, you know, like a terrorist attack or something over in Iran or something to do with Russia, or is it going to be something else? I, I don't... Well, the Rand Corporation says they want to start World War III with Russia and China to get us out of the New World Order. I mean, uh, to get the New World Order out of this crisis they're in, into the New World Order. Uh, they also talk about continuing staging an economic crisis, but that wasn't working for them, so now they're trying to get us out of this with a new bubble of all this fiat currency. So who knows what they're going to do? All the forces are lined up for a giant staged flu pandemic where the feds will come in as saviors, clamp down, but then boost their approval ratings just because people will be happy to be alive at the end of it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I appreciate your call. In fact, let me just now go ahead and briefly get to this, then back to your calls. Here is the Hayes County Press, the county south of Austin, the county paper. Freedom of hate speech. And this article has our Obama fascism poster on the front, our variant of it. We also have a socialist one you've seen on the news. And it says Infowars.com and Alex Jones are doing it, and the, city, and the county needs to pass a law making it illegal because it's not illegal. And they've got, they found a few idiot citizens to go tell the paper that they think it's great to ban free speech and that there, there needs to be a law. Now, if you go read the comments, though, on the 50, 60, 70, 100, I don't, it's more than 50 articles I've seen. I'll always look at the comments. And nine out of ten or more say free speech. It was okay to put up posters of Bush as a monkey or Bush as a vampire or Bush as the Joker. Remember, I mean, in Austin, Texas, those were every other car. Why is there such a freak out over Obama? Because he is the New World Order's 
Golden Boy. He is the guy they're counting on getting it all done for him. He was the guy that was slick, the guy that looks like a movie star, that can read right off the teleprompter, you know, better than uh, an Academy Award winning actor. But it doesn't matter. The substance isn't there. I mean, Ron Paul's not that good of a speaker, but people love him because the information is true. The issue is, then the Washington Post comes out and defends the posters and defends people having them because they're even taking them off the web. Yahoo, Facebook, Flickr, they're banning them, saying they're racist and evil. They banned our videos on YouTube with the posters saying racism. You can't show Obama as a criminal. You can't show him with horns on his head. You can't show him as a devil. You can't show him as a joker because he's above that. He's your new God. It's a hate crime, as the local paper says. Now, here is Tyler up in northeast Texas freaking out over it. And the, I played phone tag with the reporter. I gave him quotes. Those aren't in the story. And they just reported ominously like the police are out investigating and, you know, they're going to. Well, here it is. Posters depicting President Obama as the Joker started appearing in Tyler, Texas yesterday. The altered picture of the president was made by a college student and has since gone worldwide via YouTube. Up to 20 posters were put on trees, signs and windows. The only message was the website address, Infowars.com. That's the online site for a syndicated radio talk show host who offered $1,000 to the person who puts up the most Obama Joker posters. Some believe the presidential jab is hardly a joke. Tyler police took photos and collected some of the posters as evidence. Oh, my gosh. The person on light poles taped them up. And I don't have time to play them. We posted them on Infowars.com, on PrisonPlanet.com where they are calling for my arrest, I'm a racist. You know, they ask the guy on international Spanish TV uh, all over North America, they ask him, why do you think they put him up? And they said, they need to arrest the person that had the idea for this contest. He doesn't like brown people. My wife speaks Spanish. I had to drag her over to the computer and say, what's he saying? I mean, this is craziness. And so it's backfiring, though. People are going, wait a minute, you can't. You can't put a poster up. And, uh, again, in Hayes County, south of where I live, they're saying, well, we don't have a law against it, but we're trying to pass one right now. I mean, this is so un-American. This is shameful. What is their problem? You know, if you live in Hayes County or any of these places, Miami, uh, San Francisco, where they're calling for the banning of this, you ought to go to city council, even if you disagree with me criticizing Obama, and say, look, it's the First Amendment. If we ban people criticizing him, it's over. And everybody sees through this. That's why I'd say 9 out of 10 see through this. That's why the Washington Post and Sydney Morning Herald and all these big papers are coming out and saying, leave it alone. Don't pull them down. So I, I'm getting a lot of emails, a lot of videos sent to me. Of, of people putting them up in San Antonio. People come over, rip them down, get in people's face. And they go, you will respect our president. Well, he doesn't respect the Bill of Rights or Constitution. He's a liar. He's a fake. And people are upset by this Joker image because it cuts through to who he really is. A criminal. A New World Order pimp. A liar. This poster only tells people what they already know on inside their gut. All right, I'm going to rampage through your calls on the other side. Each caller gets one minute. Then I'm going to hit the news. Stay with us.